In this problem, we're told a force of 10 pounds is required to hold a spring stretched 4 inches beyond its natural length. How much work is done in stretching it from its natural length to 6 inches beyond its natural length? So let's go ahead and solve this problem. And so in order to do this, you need to know what Hooke's law is. And so Hooke's law tells us that f of x, which is your force, is equal to k times x. And so we're going to use this equation in order to solve this. And so the force we know is going to be 10 pounds, right? So pounds is a force. And so what we can do is take the force, set it equal to k, which is just a constant, times uh, x, which is the, which is just a distance, right? So in this case, we have 4 inches. And so essentially what we're going to do is just take the 10 pounds. So 10 pounds equals k, which is a constant. And that's what we're trying to solve for. We're trying to solve for k first. And then x is our change, right? And so they tell us we stretch 4 inches. So we're just going to plug in 4 for x. And so if you want to solve for k, just divide by 4. So k equals 10 over 4, which we can just simplify to 5 over 2. And so essentially, you can just rewrite your force equation as 5 over 2x. So now that we have this equation, what we're going to want to do is take the integral of it to solve for work, right? Because they're asking us how much work is done. So you need to know that work equals the integral. So in this case, the integral from, in our case, we're going from natural length to 6 inches. So natural length is just 0 beyond its natural length, right? because we're just starting at the natural length. And then if we're 6 inches beyond our natural length, you just want to put 6, right? So the distance here beyond your natural length. And then what you want to do is take the function that you just solved for in the beginning and plug it in. So in this case, it's 5 over 2 x, and then multiply it by dx. And so now we've got this. All we have to do is just solve this integral, and then we'll almost have work. So what you want to do is solve this integral. So what we want to do is take the indefinite integral of this. So what we do is we add 1 to the exponent, so it's going to become 2, and then divide by that. So it's, uh, it's going to become 5 over 4 times x squared. And so keep in mind we're doing it from 0 to 6. And so all we got to do is plug in 6, we'll get a number, and then subtract 0. But if you notice that 0 is going to be nothing when we plug it in. So just go ahead and plug in 6. So 5 over 4 times 6 squared is just going to be 36. Then if you do 36... Uh, times 5 over 4, you should get that that equals 45. And so the units for this is going to be uh, uh, pound inches, right? Because keep in mind that uh, we're using inches in terms of our range here. So from our upper bound to lower bound, and then pounds is the force. So that's how you want to label it. And then keep in mind that we need to have it in uh, foot pounds. So we can't have it in pound inches or inches pounds. We have to change it to foot pounds. And so we know that for every single, uh, we know that there's 12 inches in a foot. So essentially what we have to do is just divide by 12 because for every one foot, there's 12 inches. So essentially what you want to do is just multiply uh, 45 times 1 over 12. If you go ahead and do that, you'll get 45 over 12. And then if we want to simplify this, uh, we can just make it 15 over 4 because we're just dividing both uh, by 3. And then keep in mind that we have foot and then pounds, so it's going to be 15 over 4 foot pounds. And so yeah, that's going to be your answer to this problem.